Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August 2020. Let's waste no time and get right into your reading, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are staying safe. Alright, Spirits, what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? for the month of August 2020. Ooh, a lot of them. A lot of shells popped out. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians. So what they're saying here is a lot of you guys need to embrace the future. So what I mean by that is what they're saying is release anything from the past, anything that has not worked for you, anything that you've been doing up until now and it just has not helped you or assist you in any shape way or form it's time for us to stop doing that and move towards the future this includes letting go of the past now i do see here almost a blockage in the beginning of in the beginning of the month but I think this is a mental blockage that they're speaking about things from the past that we're carrying. So if you're carrying a lot of resentment, Sagittarius, a lot of anger or a lot of hurt from people that have hurt you or let you down in the past, it's time to let go of that. Not for their sake, but for your sake. Um, you want to be vibrating to the highest of your frequency. And the only way to do that is to release any any type of unresolved feelings um, from the past or from people from your past, it's time to move on. It's time to, you know, flip the page and start something new. Now you do see here, we have a blockage in the very beginning. Um, and what they're saying here is that again, this has more to do on a mental note. So we need to stop reliving in the past. If you feel up until now, you feel that the past was yet the best that you've ever experienced or you were happy or you were in love it's time to let go of that feeling because what they're saying here is that spirit is trying to open pathways for you is trying to make it easier for you and i do see that as the month goes on you're going to start to receive a lot of opportunities or new beginnings coming your way it's almost like you feel that your luck is starting to change if there's been resistance if there's been difficulties up until now i i want to say from the second to the third week of august you're going to start to see momentum in regards to money in regards to love and in regards to health um they are saying that again like i said you kind of start off on a bumpy road um but the reason why this resistance is happening is because they want you to stop uh, like I said, reliving the past or being stuck on the past, it's time to look towards the future. It's time for you to uh, be motivated and, you know, create or start. What they're saying here is let go of the fear that's holding you back from being able to move forward. And this could be for those of you guys that are in a relationship that just has not been working out for you. If you're still holding on, for dear life trying to fix the relationship what they're telling you is you're the only one that's holding you back from experiencing true happiness and this true happiness may come but not with the person that you're so desperately trying to hold on to so what they're saying here is again we're trying to make pathways we're trying to open and remove those blockages you need to surrender to this process you need to let go of having the need or wanting to be in the need of being in control of the situation because only then are you going to be able to start to see things move in a positive way okay now i'm going to be pulling out three cards here uh, to see what are the energies that are going to be influencing you for this month okay wow okay so you do have Saturn. We're speaking directly about the past. Saturn is all to do with the past. It's all to do with karma. It's all to do with uh, what is it that we're plant? What seeds are we planting now for the future? Saturn is here shaking you up, telling you, hey, Sagittarius, it's time for you to start thinking of the future. And in order to look at or in order in order to look towards the future, we need to start putting in the work now. Stop reliving the past 
and let's let let's begin to let go of that and start healing saturn is wisdom this represents dis discipline structure time responsibility test ambition difficulty restraint, grounding practicality self-control tradition realism uh, container bones maturity gravity uh, so again we go to that of we're starting off the month with very heavy energy for some of you guys you're greatly being impacted by the energy of saturn which we have in the 10th house which is that of capricorn and we have the capricorn card here so i feel that for some of you guys you may be feeling very restrictive you may be feeling like things like i said things are not coming easy to you but the positive in this is that saturn is there uh as the father figure uh, as the wisdom telling you, I'm going to make it not so easy for you, but we're going to start to help you push through towards the future and towards what is, you know, what you want your future to be. But it's time to, for us to do that work internally now, internalize, heal, let go of the past and move forward. We also have Leo energy here, the lover card. Uh, expressive, creative, loving, playful, warm, self-confident, flirtatious, glowing, bedazzling, extroverted, vital. So what they're saying here is, again, tap into that nature of who you are, Sagittarius. You guys tend to be very playful. You guys are very optimistic. And I think that life has just been very difficult and perhaps it shook you and it kind of forgot or you kind of forgot to be that childlike energy of, of being flirtatious with life, with people, but more than anything with life itself. Put yourself out there. Be more spontaneous. And you also have the Capricorn card here. So again, we're talking about uh, finances progressing, things becoming more easier for you because anything that, that you start working on now, you will be able to see the fruits of that labor with, with these two cards here. Uh, Capricorn, the boss, serious, authoritative, ambitious, realistic, structured, traditional, wise, enduring, accomplished, badass, majestic, competent, prepared, down to earth. So again, we're talking about the 10th house here and i feel that uh with saturn and capricorn's energy i feel that you guys are going to be uh feeling in the beginning of the month very restrictive that is the saturn energy um but once you're able to overcome the first week you're going to start to see things uh, move rather quickly and very positively bringing to you opportunities to make money on the side or opportunities of getting uh uh, extra pay or money that is unexpected coming to you as well so again be more playful take on the energy of the fifth house which is that of leo uh, which is childlike type of energy being playful being optimistic and joyful all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye